Alright guys, welcome to Mystery Beer number mm. 3. Um, doing it live again, just because it's really easy to get them uploaded this way. And uh, yeah, so this is once again from my good friend Rob over at Opscene. Did a little bit of a Mystery Beer trade. I think he's done maybe one or two at this point, but not uploaded them as of yet. But um, yeah, so two down, two to go. Uh, one has some sort of reference to it. And this one, as you can see, is actually uh, upside down. And I believe that this is something potentially a little bit different. See, I don't know what game Rob's playing right now. I really don't. But, um, yeah, so all I've been told is you don't have to chill this down. So I'm like, are you trying to implant ideas in my head? Who knows? So this is just pretty much feed it in my little cupboard thing there. And uh, yeah, lovely my little cupboard thing there. And uh, yeah, lovely wrapping as always. This time upside down. And uh, yeah, so without any further ado, let's get this can open and see what we get. Okay, of course, check out everybody included in the links below. Uh, it's definitely got a dark head. I could tell by the fact that it left a remnant on the ring. That's not the glass that I wanted to use. This is the glass that I wanted to use. And I might have to adjust the camera because we might have a special guest uh, interrupting me. So uh, we don't want that to happen. And I've already got one thumb up, so that's uh, fantastic to hear. Anyway, so here's my two old glass. And speaking of two, uh, I got my two old advent calendar today. So uh, very much looking forward to trying that out. What happens when I open it? How is that applied? I don't know. It's just like, it's actually quite clumsily put together because it's slightly open. Probably happened in transit. So it's not clumsily put together. And uh, as you can see, I've got a towel behind me. Uh, because it dries quicker hanging it up there than it does actually up the radiator in the bathroom. Now you know. Anyway, so let's get the beer opened and see what we get. Oh, well, that's definitely got a glug to it. Okay. Well, I'm instantly thinking that this is a stout of some kind. But look at that, like an oil slick. Lovely shine there. But, uh, yeah, look at that. Look how dark that head is. Uh, that is pretty much... I don't know if that's shed black or just like a really dark sort of varnished oak sort of look to it. But uh, it's very dark and intense, to say the least. And the beer poured with about half a finger's worth of a really dark beige. Almost like Coca-Cola um, carbonation. And uh, yeah, so it definitely looks dark. So let's see what we get on the nose. Swear that round about spelling it. Hmm. So I'm getting some very gentle sort of caramel aromas. There's almost a dark berry character coming through. A little bit of hoppiness. Very, very faint. More like an earthy hoppiness. I've got to be careful when I say hoppy because it usually just means American, like fruity hops, but it's very earthy. It's got a chocolatiness about it. It's got a very subtle roasty coffee tone. There might be even something like vanilla added to this. Hmm. It's definitely smelling, I would say, more like a stout. Maybe with some adjuncts put in there. But at the same time, there's a little whiff of a brown ale in there. Got a whiff of like a chocolate mint there, for some reason. And it's definitely not my breath. Yeah, I've like got like a, I've got after eights in my head now. Or like the uh, minty chocolate matchsticks. Being that it's Christmas time. Yeah. There's almost like a mintiness that I'm picking up now. And I don't know if I'm implanting that flavour into my psyche. Or if I am indeed picking that up. But I've got to say, from the appearance of the nose. 
I'm going to say it's a stout of some kind, but it could be potentially a brown ale. We shall see what we get on the taste. Cheers, guys. That's got a lovely melted chocolate character to it. There's a bit of warmth going down, so that's telling me that we're going to the imperial side of stout. Lovely thick, dark, intense roastiness, but a lovely sweetness as well. Caramel fudge, hot sticky toffee pudding. It's got that sort of like velvety smoothness. Mm. It's almost reminded me of some of the beer geek beers that I've had from Nikella. And I know that they do can that as well. In fact, I've got one in the cupboard now, which I'll save on Christmas, which is a barrel. In fact, let me get it for you while I'm trying to get these flavours processed. Yeah, I got the Beer Geek Cocoa Shake Barrel Age version from um, Michaela San Diego, which I'm going to be saving for, for Christmas. But yeah, it's almost reminding me of like a, a nice pastry stout. And I'm getting... See, I don't know if I should go with this. My instinct is telling me this. I think that this could be one of the variations of the Beer Geek series. It's lovely and sticky on the lips. Toffee. It's almost got like Rolos. Flavour of Rolos in there, which is really nice. It's definitely an adjunct Imperial Stout. Uh, what adjuncts, I'd imagine there's maybe some lactose in there. There might be a little bit of cacao in there. Maybe a touch of vanilla. But then again, the cacao would usually give it a bit of a darker chocolate flavour. Hmm. <coughs> it's also reminding me of uh, something left-handed giant might produce because I know that they can do some really absolutely astonishing stouts. <sighs> Rob, I love and hate you because I'm in a bind right now. It's a beautifully tasting beer. But I'm gonna take a guess and say that this could be, in fact let's have a look at the, I mean the cans aren't too different. Well, there is a little bit of a difference, but... Hmm, see, that was that put me off from... Ah, oh, he knew that I'd overthink these. But now, Imperial Stout with some adjunct vanilla and lactose. Although the vanilla's not really singing. Um, I'm still getting a slight mintiness. But I've not really seen too many chocolate mint stouts. So maybe I should go for that. You know, put it out there. Hmm... Yeah, it's Imperial Stout. I'm going to go with it. It's a McKellar Beer Club beer. Bit of a shot in the dark, but it's reminded me of that, and I've had a few of them up to this point. So, let's get the, uh, the beginnings of the label ripped off and not spoil it for myself this time, uh, like I did last time with the Rheinbacher label where it actually tell, told me what the style was as I was opening it up. Thankfully, we'd already uh, dissected what it could be. So let's, uh, let's undo this. I mean, it could even be a Northern Monk beer, because I know they do some wonderful stouts. Oh, now that... Oh, no. See, Northern Monk goes to like the logical side of my brain. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it as it is, and I'm gonna go with McKellar, a beer geek beer. Anyway, so let's get this opened and see what we get. Hopefully the label doesn't come off. 
uh, with the paper. But we shall see. Well, it's definitely peeling off. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we've still got the label. What the fuck? That's a mystery beer? I think that beer alone puts the whole collective of the beers that I gave to Rob to absolute shame. Well, I pretty much got the, the style and adjuncts correct. It is kind of Danish. But yeah, even more JCS. Imperial Stout Blue brewed with lactose and with vanilla and coffee added. Uh, a few times in the history of craft beer, it's happened that a highly praised beer marker maker rises beyond mortal stardom in a higher godly league. Usually the recipe to become such a divine hero, you need a crazy juice skills, a fake Minnesota dialect and a cool and erotic sounding name like Jean-Claude. It's even more JC's and a forgotto. Uh, Affogato, so like the liqueur, uh, Imperial Stout or Style Imperial Stout, brewed and bottled for Evil Twin at Westbrook Brewing Company, Mount Pleasant, Sacramento, is that SC? I can't remember. Uh, distributed by 12% Brooklyn, New York. So yeah, Evil Twin. Even more Jesus, or GCS. JCS, even. It's fantastic. It really, really is. Hmm. I would say the coffee is probably... Well, mind you, the coffee comes more in the aftertaste now. But you don't get that vanilla and lactose coming through. And there's definitely chocolatey. So, I suppose it's really easy to identify an imperial stout. So, I'm not going to pat myself on the back for too much, too much for that. Because it's pretty much common sense. It's dark, it's got a dark head. You take one sniff, you get Imperial Stout. Uh, although I got just a regular Stout in my head at first. But I think I did okay with getting the adjuncts correct. Um, I'm just fucking overwhelmed that this is a mystery beer. Uh, this is a beer that I've been hearing a shit ton about. That I've been eyeing up uh, for absolutely ages. But never got round to picking it up. And um, Rob decides to be an absolute bastard. And put it in a, a mystery beer selection. So, um, Rob, I can't thank you enough uh, already. We've got one more beer left to do. Oof. I definitely owe you some beer because I only got you three. And you decided you'd be special and get me four. One with a personal reference, which I'm still trying to work out what that could be. But, um, yeah, would you class this as a, as a success? Am I beer tube loyalty now? I mean, I've got the 300 subs, which, you know, come on. I'm almost industry standard right now. But uh, no, I'm actually somewhat pleased with myself that I managed to identify flavours. But it's not exactly a major victory because if you can't identify an Imperial Stout at this point, then, um, well, mind you, there are some genre bending beers out there. But yeah, 12% Imperial Stout on a school night. And I'm in work at like quarter to nine tomorrow, which is going to be rough. It's worth it. Anyway, massive, massive thank you to Rob. His link will be down below once I've, uh, this has been uploaded to YouTube. As of the previous videos, go check out the likes of Matt from Massive Beer Reviews, Joe from uh, The Beer Patrol. Uh, I will be putting more channels for these guys who have been involved in this. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it so far. And it's coming to a close, for now at least. But uh, yeah, the mystery beers. I was really apprehensive about this because I was like, this is going to show me up to be an absolute fool. Um, well, my videos themselves do that. But um, it's going down so easy. It really, really is. Mm. Fantastic stuff. Check out Rob. Massive thank you. And uh, yeah, we've got one more to go. 
and uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what that pier might be and uh, what's going on with my hair I need to get my hair cut or at least actually styled maybe anyway thank you for watching and I shall hopefully see you all later cheers oh I forgot I can't just press it I've got to like press it twice haven't I to end it cheers.